as you can see there the when you when I kept the camera pointed at one object for a certain period of time the image temporarily burns into the tube and there you can see a ghost of the top of that seat Pure, um, for only a short period of time Oops, now let's put it to the other spotlight, which will not be good for the tube. Yeah, more electrical interference. Oh, by the way, I'm pointing to a camera I picked up from the markets for $15, a modern 1990s presumably um, CCD color camera all I need to get that unit going is a power supply which I'm going to have to somehow track down here in the shades I've got me partially disassembled 1974 Sony DXC 1200p color camera and beside it a, dis a partially disassembled 1974 AV Sony AVC 3250CE black and white camera both these cameras are in need of a service Here's a close-up shot of that transparency packet again. As you can see, the colours look quite good. I'll zoom in out and zoom in on on the Bassif MTech video cassette packet. As seen on this one, the colours also look pretty good. Okay, I'm now going to retire this camera and switch over to my camcorder so you can see the camera, the camera itself. Alrighty, I now have my 1990s Sony Handycam connected. As you can see, <laughs> the images from this camera is much, much, much brighter than that of the JVC. Anyways thought I'd show you the JVC camera itself as you can see this is one vintage piece of television equipment yes quite an early looking camera and quite a neat looking camera too And that's the troublesome viewfinder on the top. <laughs> so yeah, this camera, looking at it on the exterior, you have your little electric microphone there, you have your C-mount lens here, which has the, um, the zoom, the aperture setting here, and of course the, the focus 
probably give you a better look from here. Yep, so that's the aperture setting, that's the zoom adjustment, and that's the focus setting. And, um, and right here you've got the um, long range electric microphone and below here looks to be the record button say if you had this camera connected to a portable VCR as mentioned this camera I have actually connected it to a power supply unit which is what came in the came with the camera when I won it off eBay Quite a nice looking vintage unit. So on the front, you have the power on switch, you have and you have your colour compensator which you select the colour setting you want. So below you got the manual setting, then you got the indoor setting, then you've got your morning and evening outdoor setting and you've got your outdoor sitting for the manual setting you have your adjustments down here which you got the blue adjustment the red adjustments and you got the luminance adjustments so on the side here you've got your audio and video outputs and your and your remote jack presumably for a remote control unit the video output is quite an old school style video output which is called an RF socket and, <laughs> and those sockets were pretty much popular around the 1950s, 60s and 70s and perhaps even the 1940s as I've seen them on some really early bomber cameras because the because VCRs and DVD recorders use your standard RCA can RCA sockets I saw to I use an RF to RCA connector right here so RF one end RCA the other On the other side you've got your main camera cable and you've got your power socket and you also got your fuse casing. Now this camera cable uses quite a number of pins for various supplies of power, video and etc etc whatever it may be so here as you can see you've got quite a lot of pins so yeah that's generally what I know of this camera quite a cool looking camera very hard to get. They're pretty much rarer than rocking horse shit. <laughs> oh yeah, and the this camera, as mentioned, is a portable camera, but I've got it mounted on a tripod. So you pretty much just hold the pistol grip and just I'll just lift the tripod up and just you know point and shoot. 